What is up guys, NPS Reaver here back at it with another video. In today's video we're going to be featuring something I have featured on this channel but I haven't really highlighted it and really talked about uh, them in any of my videos. I've been strictly talking about like the NPS Reef and all my other saltwater systems. It is actually really late, it's almost midnight. Uh, but I wanted to get this video out for you guys this Friday. So I'm doing this video right now uh, just to get you guys a video out because I did not have a video for you guys last week. Uh, so we're going to flip the camera around here and show you what we have. So right here we have my 30 gallon axolotl tank. A lot of people ask me do I have a chiller on this. The answer is no. Um, if you keep it at like 68 on below they tend to be just fine. I have had no issues with them. Um, every night now and then I'll treat them with a nice ice cube dump. Get a big old pitcher of ice cubes and dump them at the top just to kind of cool them off a little bit. But I've had no problems keeping them in this room. Um, a lot of my other tanks I try to keep cooler as well. Just like the NPS system. Uh, but these guys are very healthy. They eat TDO Chroma Boost. Which I will show a clip here in a second. And you can check out a clip on my Instagram page. these guys eating but we have three right now uh, I'm watching these two uh, for a friend of mine while he's in Florida and then we have my personal axolotl right there that is just an all natural axolotl uh, just a generic gene right there just a standard wild axolotl um, although it is captive bred it's just a wild type it doesn't have any crazy genetics like the albino and then you got the black one over there which is really cool as well uh, but like i said these guys eat like earthworms uh night crawlers or whatever you'd like to feed them they eat just about anything so they are very easy to care for um if you're looking for a cool aquatic amphibian these are definitely a good starter um, but if you do live in like a southern state like for say florida texas arizona I mean, I know Texas is going through a freeze right now, uh, but I definitely recommend if you're down that far south to have a chiller on your system. Um, it does benefit them is if the water is cooler. Uh, we'll get you guys close up here. These guys are so weird. They're very weird creatures. They're almost like aliens. Like nothing like them. They almost look like a dinosaur. It's pretty sweet. But yeah, these guys are really cool. Um... You don't want to disturb the water too much. Uh, they are very finicky, uh, but I got the water barely stirring at the top, uh, just keeping the water oxygenated enough. I mean, there's three axolotls in here. Uh, I have not noticed them fighting at all yet, because um, I know they can get pretty aggressive towards each other. Uh, but these have been in this tank together for almost four months now, I think. Um, so, and they've had no problems one time uh, when I was feeding them. Uh, one pellet got right next to the albino um, axolotl's leg and the I think it was this guy I can't remember for sure he snapped at the pellet and grabbed the other axolotl's leg and started twisting and turning pulled his leg right off but within like a, almost two weeks it grew right back and that's that exact foot right there that grew back so like if they uh, lose limbs they can grow them back relatively quickly and easily if they are kept right and in good condition but well, these guys are very healthy and very cool animals if you're looking for something strange to add to your fish room that's a little different so look at these guys they're very cool and interesting and these guys actually come from only a couple places in mexico and are almost fully extinct in the wild so pretty much just captive bred ones are left um i believe there's just i can't remember for sure there's a small lake in mexico city and they can be found in surrounding mountain streams and ponds um, we got them around here, but they're not this species. They're called uh, water dogs. Uh, they're a little bit different, but similar. It's another species of aquatic amphibian native to North America. So I've actually seen the water dogs in my back pond in the woods. Uh, they're definitely really cool creatures. Uh, but I definitely like the axolotls, so they're very cool creatures. Um, there is glow in the dark ones as well. So if you're looking for something a little bit different to add some color, um, these do not glow, but I do have a blue light on this tank. So if, for, if I ever wanted to get a glowing axolotl, this would be the tank for it. So for all you all you guys that have been telling me to get a freshwater tank, I do have a freshwater tank. Um, I've always loved freshwater. I've been to Brazil two times. I love the Amazon. I love all those tetras and all those other species, pyeras, peacock bass. I used to keep peacock bass. Uh, but once I jumped into the saltwater world, I never turned back. 
Um, it's just such a cool world that there's so much diversity. There's a lot of diversity in freshwater, but there's just so many oddball things in saltwater. So I love it very much. Uh, this summer, I plan to do a small build uh, for a native uh, tank with like bluegills, maybe a super small bass, caught like at a private pond or something, and maybe a couple shiners or minnows. So we'll figure that out this summer. Really excited for that build. Uh, but other than that, just want to show you guys my axolotls and my only freshwater tank I have other than my mangrove tank over here. I have bait on a couple um, brackish mollies. Uh, but other than that, thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed checking out a tank that I have not really featured on this channel yet. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to be the fish and feed them corals and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time. What you know about rolling?